So, I want to go see Mr. Holmes. It's directed by Bill Condon. He also brought us Kinsey, Dreamgirls, The Fifth Estate, oh, and the last two Twilight movies. Uh, it stars Sir Ian McKellen, Laura Linney, and Milo Parker, and it's a, a really neat Sherlock Holmes story if Sherlock Holmes was a, a real person who the Sherlock Holmes fictional novels were based off of. It's it's a neat idea, at the very least. So, this film takes place in three distinct time periods. There's post-World War II London, which is the present as far as the film's concerned, and here Sherlock Holmes is starting to go senile, he can't quite remember things. He lives with a housekeeper who really doesn't approve of him, and her son who really looks up to him. He can't really remember names, he has to write uh, names of important people on the, on the cuffs of his shirt, um, and, and this is not sitting well with him. Then there's the time period almost immediately before this where he makes a trip to Japan to try and find a, like a, a special plant that's supposed to help with memory. And then there's the time period 30 years before this, uh, before he went off to, I believe, southern England to, to raise bees. Uh, it's the, the period 30 years before where he had his last case as a detective. And something happened during that case that caused him to give up being detec a detective and retire. And, and now, in the film's present, he can't remember what it was. And that's, that's why he took the trip to Japan. Um, and, and it's really just, just, just kind of, kind of, it's the reason why he secluded himself from everything, and he tr needs to try and figure out what it is, and through his interactions with uh, his housekeeper's son, he sort of um, opens up and begins to remember what happened. This film is a very well-done melodrama. The script is fantastic. The acting in this movie, the acting is is wonderful. Sir Ian McKellen does a fantastic job. The, the young boy, uh, Milo, I believe his name was, He's great here. I don't think he's been in a lot before this, but he's fantastic in this movie. I, I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, the acting is... well, not unfortunately, I suppose fortunately, but the acting is so good that it makes it easy to miss the flaws in the story. Um, and, 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 like, in that sort of situation, you, I, I still really enjoyed the movie. I, I left the movie going, Wow, that was really good. I, 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 I quite enjoyed it. Um, but then, sort of, as, as I sat there and I thought about it, um, different... Like, I, I felt that there was something missing. There was something missing from the story, and I just couldn't put my finger on quite what it was, because the performances were really fantastic. Um, it, was, it, was, it was such a nicely presented story that I, I, I had a hard time really dialing in on what was bothering me about the film. Um, and finally, after a bunch of thought, I, I really did kind of hit on what, what, made, what kept the movie from being great for me. And this is just for me, mind you. But this film is a really, really terribly bad Sherlock Holmes story. Now, I don't mind if you mess with the whole Sherlock Holmes shtick, right? That's, that's been done before. I can't remember the name of the film, but where, you know, Sherlock Holmes is the bumbling idiot and Watson is really the smart one. Like, things like that. I, I really enjoy those movies quite a bit, but almost nothing in this movie is really very Sherlock Holmes. He does an instance or two of, you know, fantastic deduction, mind you, which is, which is nice and pleasant to see, but that's only, like, two points in the movie. And the rest of the time, just... No, like Sherlock Holmes is this this great mind, this great. He's uh, he he resorts to just writing names on on the cuffs of shirts. Is something that you know it doesn't sit really true with Sherlock Holmes. The film goes out of the way to 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 point out that this Sherlock Holmes isn't the Sherlock Holmes from the books in the film's universe. That Sherlock Holmes was a creation of Doctor Watson, um, who who wrote the who wrote the stories. Right, so. So he never wore the deerstalker. He doesn't smoke a pipe. It's it's sort of letting you know that this you know you're, you're not seeing the the books Sherlock Holmes, which is fine, but it just it 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 further it further removes you from it feeling like a Sherlock Holmes story, right? Um, and even the and even the the mystery 
that takes place 30 years ago, it's not really... It's not really much of a mystery at all. It's just, um... It's regular detective work, which I suppose is, you know, part of the whole idea. It's just, hey, a husband worried about his wife. There you go. But there's there's nothing there's nothing very Sherlock Holmesy about it. The the story is really more about Sherlock Holmes and and the the young boy and the the relationship and sort of moving on and and connecting with people and that that's that is all fine. But the the fact that you know it's it's about Sherlock Holmes and it doesn't feel remotely like Sherlock Holmes really kind of uh, pulled me back from the the story and it it just made it uh, a little bit worse. But that said, um, everything is put together very well, as I said. Uh, Sir, Ian, Sir Ian McKellen's performance is fantastic. Uh, everyone's performance is really spot on in this film. So if you like these sorts of melodramas, uh, if you enjoy the, the emotional um, touching connection between people, if you, if you like beautiful scenery, well well shot scenes, um, if you if you like the the period pieces, uh, by all means watch this movie. But if you really just want to see a Sherlock Holmes film, you're you're, you're this probably won't do it for you. Uh, that's just my thought anyway. So um, until next time, folks, uh, enjoy film.